Hello. So, in last class, we have discussed regarding uh, the basic requirements of water supply, drainage, and waste disposal systems. Okay. So, in today's class, we are going to concentrate on one of the important topic of this present scenario. Okay, that is rainwater harvesting. Okay. Rainwater harvesting. Of course, first we need to understand about rainwater harvesting. Why we need to harvest rain? Okay, nowadays uh, rainwater harvesting technique is one of the important aspects. Okay, even in futuristic plan of the present globe as well as the requirement of human beings, the comfort zone of our, the public, okay, because water is the uh, second highest consumption materials after air. So, nowadays even because of the global warming, uh, rainfall is also going to be reduced day by day or season by season, year by year, okay. So, to overcome this, we need to collect water during rainfall, okay, then we can use that water for drought season okay that is at summer season okay so the term introduction about rainwater harvesting so water is essential for all life of forms of earth including human animal and animals and vegetations okay so it is therefore important that adequate supplies of water be developed to sustain such life Okay. So, even in some cases, why we need to go ahead with rain water harvesting? Because nowadays, even the ground water uh, is going to be even at deeper level. So, that if at minimum depth, we should not supposed to get uh, a ground level ground water. Okay. Even that the sources, even some lakes, rivers, okay, some ponds are going to become drought in nature. Okay. So, they are not going to be recharged uh, season wise. Right? because of the soil conditions, because of the comfort of the public or because of the usage of advanced technologies which will in turn lead to global warming. Okay? So, with respect to all these facts, right? so nowadays rainwater harvesting technique is must and should which is compulsory in nature. Yes or no? So, so what is this rainwater harvesting? Right? So, the term rainwater harvesting is usually taken to mean the immediate collection of rainwater running off surfaces upon which it has fallen directly. Okay? So, this definition excludes the runoff from land watersheds into streams, rivers, lakes, etc. Hence, it is the catching of rainwater when it falls and storing to use during the non rainy season. Okay? That is the overall uh, rainwater harvesting technique. Okay. Then in continuation with that, we need to observe what are all the different types of harvesting process are there. Okay. So, what are all the different types of rainwater harvesting techniques are there. Basically, so rainwater harvesting techniques can be broadly classified into two. Okay. The first one is rooftop harvesting. The first one is rooftop harvesting. And the second one is runoff harvesting. Right. So, the first one is a rooftop harvesting, and the second one is runoff harvesting. Okay. So, by the terminology itself, we will come to know that rooftop harvesting, rooftop. So, in the first technique, we are going to observe or we are going to collect the water from the rooftop. Okay. That is from the slabs from the flats or factories top portions okay or industries or institutional buildings any organizations okay we can take any structure of course without roof the structure is not going to be complete yes or no? which you should not supposed to only construct the walls okay so it it must ended with a roof okay so the why while rainfall takes place of course the rooftop is in turn going to uh, experience that rainwater okay once that entire area is get uh, filled with the rainwater so that there of course we are going to give some slopes on the either side so that the entire water will in turn going to collect it at some other corner 
at, at some corners. Okay? If you are not providing any suitable arrangement for that, right? so then the entire water will in turn go to ground, no doubt. Okay? If you are not at all provided any technique to harvest it or to collect it. Yes or no? So, is, is there any techniques to collect it at one particular point right? by, giving, by giving proper pipeline connections to that entire uh, area which in turn covers the rainfall okay? and it will in turn going to store it in one storage reservoir or storage tank right? and do all necessary arrangements regarding the collections that is regarding filtration processes and with respect to disinfection process. Okay, it might be, okay, depends upon the requirement, depends upon the availability of material, depends upon the nature of water get collected. Okay. So, by observing all these things, we can provide the suitable alternate arrangement for, to remove the bacteria, to remove the uh, floating particles, okay, to remove the settled particles. Okay. Once then only we can get a good water. It should not be potable, I can say directly, but we can use that water for other purposes. Because we are not at all directly depends on only a uh, drinking purpose, okay. Rainwater harvesting technique is not 100 percent fit for uh, drinking water, I can say, but we can use that water for other residential related issues, okay, for gardening purpose, for cleaning purpose, okay, for washing, okay, for vegetation purpose, okay, for, uh, for all remaining parameters we can use that water. Even in some cases, if we have a purification process in your uh, residential area, we can even treat that water, no doubt, yes or no, right. So, these are the two methods of collection of rainwater, okay. The first one is uh, rooftop harvesting and the second one is runoff harvesting. So, now we will discuss one by one, okay. So, the first one is rooftop harvesting, yes, we can observe in this figure, right. So, this method includes the catchment area as the rooftop in rural and urban areas. This includes the rooftop of houses, flats, factories, offices, complexes, etc. Okay. So, in this figure, we can observe here, right. So, of course, the rainfall takes place, right. So, the entire roof, it might be a flat, it might be a residential area, it might be an industry, it might be a factory, okay. Any organizations, any institution, any structure, we can take it as an example, okay. Of course, the outermost, the topmost part is in turn experience that rainfall, okay. So, by, by providing the proper slopes on either side, of course, the water once it drops on that surface, it will in turn go to end, no doubt. Then at the end, we need to give a collecting uh, pipes or we, we need to provide a gutters or pipelines so, so that the entire water get collected through that particular pipeline and that will in turn come to one particular corner. Yes, we can observe in this figure at one particular point, we can have that collecting tank. Okay, the entire water will in turn come and collect it at that particular tank. Yes or no? So, we need to decide once again the type point, I mean the uh, size of the tank in turn depends on the availability of rainfall, then the total catchment area we have. We have okay, on that basis, we need to decide what should be the volume of tank I need to suggest. It might be 5000 liters capacity, 1000 liters capacity, 2000 liters capacity depends. Depends upon the area of the roof, right. That area multiplied by the thickness, that is thickness is nothing but uh, how much of water that is uh, rainfall takes place. It might be of 10 mm. Usually we, we come to know, okay. So, in rainy season, so in this month, so we may get probably this much of uh, rainfall, okay, like that. And we need to, we should not suppose to take 100 percent, okay. So, if 1 mm or 10 mm rainfall takes place, we should not say that area into that uh, depth or thickness of that entire water level which takes place on that particular uh, platform will give you a volume of uh, rainfall, okay, or volume of the water which collects on that particular rooftop, then we can convert it to in terms of liters, okay. It is not exactly 100 percent, I can say, some uh, water will in turn go into loss, okay, because of some other practical reasons because of some leakages, because of some uh, fixtures, fittings, pipe fittings. Okay. So, these parameters may lead some wastages, some, some water may get evaporates, some may get seep. Okay. So, by taking all these wastages and all these things, by giving the suitable free boards, I can decide the storage tanks capacity. Yes or no? So, that is the rooftop harvesting concept. Okay. So, the next one is runoff harvesting. Of course, in this runoff harvesting, the name itself says, of course, while rainfall takes place, of course, the water will starts flowing from 
the highest ridge portion to the, the lower elevations always. Okay. So, in turn, while moving towards uh, lower portions, okay, they will in turn go to collect with some other streamlines. Yes or no? So, and then at last it will go into place or it will go into uh, store at one particular point, okay, which is little bit pond or lake type of uh, structure we have constructed or else even naturally it will go into store at one particular point. And we need to decide that location, okay. So, I, we need to decide that location and we need to construct a pond. Yes or no? So, we need to have some one uh, embankment, okay, with respect to ground level or it might be below ground level or it might be exactly at ground, uh, ground surface, depends, depends upon the availability of uh, uh, runoff at that particular region, and then depends upon the terrain condition of that field, right. So, we need to decide what should be the catchment area, okay. So, during rainfall takes place, of course, the runoff will come towards the slope, yes. So, at this time, we need to provide suitable filter medias at the entry of the tank, okay, so that the enter water, if any debris matters are coming along with the runoff, so that they are going to filter it at that particular screening process. Then the pure water, you may get it to the second level. Then you can use that water for animals, for gardening purpose, okay, for cleaning purpose, depends. Okay. So, usually this runoff technique is not sufficient or not good for urban cities because we won't get that much of area here. Okay. So, it is best for village region where we can get uh, fields so that we can catch the water in a uh, huge manner. Okay. So, in this figure you can observe the runoff harvesting. Here the runoff water is collected, gardens, then driveways, landscapes, open fields, parks, roads and pavements and other open areas of the environment can be used to harvest the rainwater runoff. So, using this method, it is possible to collect the water from larger areas, right? And this is particularly advantageous in areas of low rainfall and it will fit to village region because we may get huge fields over there, okay? So, we can observe in this figure. So, the entire runoff is in turn going collected with a, uh, a particular pond or lake or tank, okay? Then the next point is components of components of rainwater harvesting. I will write short form RWH that is rainwater harvesting. So, what are the basic components I need to concentrate in this rainwater harvesting? Basically, we come across rainwater harvesting components. So, the first one is catchment area. The first one is catchment area. Yes, of course, the name itself says catchment area. Here catchment area. Area of course, we have length into width okay, or width into depth, something in two dimensional that is area, okay, length into width, square meters. Okay, square feet area. Catchment area, catchment is nothing but what is the amount of water which is going to catch at that particular platform, by the that particular platform. Okay. For example, if I consider this board, okay, okay, I will make it little bit slope in nature instead of making it horizontal, so that I will uh, have that rainfall type of effect, so that the entire water, I mean water droplets will enter drop on this particular area. Okay, that is the intensity of rainfall. We can get it through some other techniques. Okay. So, we can come to know what should be the average rainfall take, takes place on that particular area. Okay. So, and we can easily calculate what should be the area of this portion that is called the catchment area. So, that is the area mentioned in square meter or square feet, okay. that is the square of unit. Okay. So, on which the entire rainfall is going to take place, that is the first component we need to concentrate. So, uh, rainwater can be collected from most forms of the roofs that is different types of roofs, it might be sheeted one, it might be a tiled, it might be a GI sheet roofing, it might be asbestos cement sheet roofing, depends. Okay. So, that particular area we can consider it as the catchment area where the entire water is going to pass through that particular area. Okay. Then the second one is gutters and pipes. Second most important thing is gutters and pipes. Yes. 
So you can observe in this figure the term terminology gutters and pipelines. So in this rooftop harvesting systems, gutters and pipes are used to collect and transport water to the storage tanks. Right? The gutters are nothing but of course gutters and pipelines are, are the end connections made at the sloped roof so that the entire water will come and collect in that particular pipe pipeline or the arrangement what we have made over there. Okay, it might be of U shape exactly or it might be a, a, a trapezoidal shape. Okay, depends. Depends upon the requirement, depends upon the intensity of the building, depends upon the type of building. We can decide the pipelines and gutters. Okay, what should be the diameter of the pipe I need to provide that in turn depends on the type of building. That is the amount of rainfall we are supposed to collect. Okay, so uh, on that basis we need to decide the gutters and pipelines. So they are nothing but the fixtures which will be fitted to the edges that is eaves portions of the roof so that the entire water will come and collect at that particular point and by giving a proper slope on that particular pipeline so the water will in turn go and collect it to one particular corner. From that we can directly transfer it to the storage tanks. Okay, That is the second most important component of this rainwater harvesting. Then the third one is filters. Third one is filters or filter media. Okay, so filters they might be of different types. Depends upon the materials. Depends upon the uh, screening activities. If you want a minute mesh or if you want a broader uh, filter media, depends. Depends upon the extent of water we are collecting at that particular point and depends upon the natural or depends upon the uh, physical problems or that particular practical problems what you are going to face. If we met with some huge trees on in our surroundings definitely during rainfall okay of course the leaves and all these things will in turn come along with the rainfall okay because they, are, they will in turn give you some disturbance towards the collection process that is why we need these filters yes or no. So they are used to filter out the debris that comes with the rooftop water and prevent them being added to the storage tanks. Yes, that is the advantages or requirement or objective of your filters. Okay, they might be of mesh filters, the first flushing devices, then sediment discharge taps. Yes, in this figure you can observe the filters. Okay, yes, these are the basic three components of rainwater harvesting systems right then the next bit is storage facility okay so the next important bit is storage facility yes the term storage facility itself explains about how we are going to store it by using what media Yes or no? Because you should not supposed to directly uh, dump it in some 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 uh, specified area. Okay, we need to specific in nature. Yes, what is the extension of water we are going to collect from rooftop? Okay, so we need to decide because in while constructing a sump in your house, we are going to decide what should be the capacity of water we are going to collect. We are supposed to collect. Yes or no? It might be a 5,000 liters capacity because 5,000 liters we have decided that yes in one that in that in that uh, house we have around four plus four eight members were there okay ground floor first first floor probably okay in some some other cases we may have one or two more members ex in extra okay so which will inter lead to 10 members okay so each day the requirement is around 200 liters per person or 135 liters per person or 100 liters depends depends upon the comfort zone locality that depends for all these practical pra parameters we need to consider what should be the per day requirement okay into number of days okay so because the rain i mean uh, the tap water may come two days uh, one, once in a two days or uh, weekly twice or weekly thrice depends depends upon the uh, conditions depends upon the season also we can decide the availability of water so, okay by considering all these requirements we'll come to know that yes this is what the total cap i mean requirement of water takes place for that particular day okay so on that principle we are going to decide what should be the dimensions of the tanks should be fit yes or no so what should be the length what should be the width what should be the depth okay along with this we need to observe what should be the requirement 
okay we should not if we have uh, uh, park up, i mean uh, the parking area or uh, sit out portions of restricted area we should not supposed to mo uh, go more than that of the availability of land okay so by considering all these parameters we need to decide the storage capacity or storage facilities okay of course the storage facilities are nothing but your tanks okay so the storage tanks is the structure where the water is stored this can be varied according to that is the classifications varied according to the shape according to the materials used and the positions of the tanks okay according to the shape of tank we can observe in this figure it might be circular in nature it might be rectangular in nature hexagon in nature right so depends depends upon the shape we can decide the type of tank then coming to the depends upon the materials of the construction whether it might be of rcc or it might be of plastic or any other materials okay so depends upon the materials also we can decide the storage facility that is storage tanks then the third one is depends upon the positions of the tank whether it is above ground level or exactly at uh, ground level or partially at ground okay or below ground level at some extent depends depends upon the uh, positions of the tank we, we can decide whether it's under or above or exactly at surface okay this is regarding the storage tanks okay in this figure we can observe the storage tanks of different shapes and the positions okay then the next part is advantages advantages of rainwater harvesting of course as we discussed earlier so nowadays rainwater harvesting technique is one of the important and which is a compulsory and mandatory parameter in residential areas right because uh, the comfort zone of public is increasing day by day consumptions of water and dependent of dependent parameters of waters are usually going to be high in day by day okay we should we have, we have some we have developed some activities something like that Yes or no? So auto automatically, the consumption of water is huge in nature. Definitely, the availability of water will be once again remain same. It is not going to be varied according to your comfort zone. Definitely, the next level is we need to store more water so that we can use it in other uh, seasons or in drought seasons. Okay. So in that constraints, we have some advantages of rainwater harvesting techniques. So the first one is relatively we are using cheap materials. okay in in turn the construction of containers and collecting surfaces right so we are not going to invest uh, advanced materials to collect the rain water okay it might be a roof top or it might be a front of harvesting technique so we are in turn using cheap materials in in the same in the same context we can say the construction cost is also going to be minimum okay we are not going to invest much money on this that's why it's one of the best uh, practice i can say okay then construction methods are relatively straight forward then low maintenance costs and requirements right then environmental friendly no doubt then increase the ground water level as well as quality of ground water level then mitigates the effects of drought reduces the runoff reduces the soil erosion right so these are all the basic advantages of rainwater harvesting technique of course once we met with advantages there are some disadvantages of this rainwater harvesting technique but they are not much uh, differs the construction activities or the activities come across this rainwater harvesting but there are some facts which will in turn have some limitations okay so that is disadvantages of rainwater harvesting is yes, what are the disadvantages are there or we can have it as a limitations okay so the first one is supplies can be contaminated by birds or animals droppings on the catchment surfaces and guttering structures unless they are cleaned before use right once the entire area catchment area is in turn exposed to atmosphere there is a chances of birds or animal droplets takes place 
on that particular area which will in turn come to a pipeline okay it might be going to affect your gutter portions or it might be in turn going to affect so your storage inlet portions okay but we need to clean it before going to use okay so continuous maintenance is required for this rainwater harvesting techniques that is one one limitations i can say it's not a big deal okay but it must consist of some limitations then the second one is poorly constructed water jars or containers can suffer from algae growth yes if the construction uh, or uh, masonry work or the workmanship is not good okay then there are chances of development of algae takes place which will in turn lead to uh, some odor or smell that comes from the storage reservoirs okay that we need to take care then the next one is uh, regular maintenance should be needed no doubt okay then unpredictable rainfall if in our days we can experience there is a huge disasters takes place at one some say stages then there is a huge uh, rainfall takes place in some regions okay so this is not in our hand Yes or no? So unpredictable rainfall takes place. Definitely, the storage things and your gutters may affect at some extent. Okay. So in those key situations, we need to overcome with some uh, basic practices which we need to involve in our harvesting techniques. Okay. So these are all the some disadvantages comparing to the advantages. Okay. And of course, while comparing with the advantages and disadvantages, but advantages of rainwater harvesting technique is more and more. Right. Because in every aspects, in every materials, in every product, advantages as well as disadvantages, okay, benefits as well as some limitations are there, okay. But we need to come up with advantages. If more advantages are there, nothing to worry. We can adopt it to our basic things, okay. So at the at last, uh, importance of rainwater harvesting, no doubt, rainwater harvesting technique is nowadays not only for the present days, even for the future days also rainwater harvesting technique is must and should and it is compulsory. Okay? Now major corporations and urban development authorities, they have made it mandatory that at the time of taking a sanction for construction of a residential building, it is must and should, we need to take a oath or we need to provide a rainwater harvesting facility in your house. So that and of course, it in turn helps you a lot. Okay? So that is the importance because we need to give water for the future generation. Yes, sir. We should not supposed to use it completely in our days. The for next decades or after three, four decades uh, later, they are going to suffer a lot. Okay, that's not the usual tendency. So, by futuristic plan also, we need to adopt rainwater harvesting techniques so that the groundwater recharge also takes place in a very good manner. Okay, even the quality of water also got improved. Okay, so these are all the some importance of rainwater harvesting systems. Okay, yes. Thank you.